Welcome back. The hotel industry has a potential big security headache on its hands. Reports say Prestige Software, the company behind reservation platforms for Hotels.com, Booking.com, and Expedia, left data exposed for millions of guests on an Amazon Web Services portal. The files date back as far as 2013 and include names, credit card details, ID numbers, and reservation details. It's not clear how long the data was left exposed or if it was accessed by anyone. And thousands of Volvos are being recalled following a death linked to a faulty airbag. The car maker is recalling 54,000 vehicles in the U.S., the recall affecting 2001 through 2003 S80 and S60 vehicles. The car maker will replace airbag inflators with a modern version. And United Airlines is boosting its schedule the week of Thanksgiving in anticipation of a lot more travelers. The airline is adding 1,400 flights in its schedule the week of November 23rd. It's also planning to swap out larger aircraft to accommodate last-minute demand. The increase in flights represents a 9% boost for the week. Still, airline schedules and travel are down sharply compared with last year as coronavirus cases surge to record highs. And finally, a Japanese company has developed a face shield that does not fog up or glare like conventional products do. The electronics firm Sharp used liquid crystal display panel technology to create finely rough surfaces. Doing so suppresses reflection and allows liquid droplets on the surface to dry quickly. Demand for face shields is increasing for occupations such as medical workers and store clerks amid the coronavirus, but users complain that fogging and glare can obstruct their view. And as coronavirus cases continue to surge in the U.S., Pfizer's vaccine candidate looks promising. We'll tell you more about the drug and the state of the pandemic in the U.S. next on Valley News Live at 4.